Hi. Um. Okay. So, I'm doing this video. It uh, today. I'm getting my first school back. Uh. And I'll talk more about that in a second. But I'm doing this video for two reasons. Number one is because me and Sarah and Becca do update videos. So it's just an update video for them. That's it. Um, it's like an update on my life video, because that's what we do. Um, and the second reason is because when I was like researching this piercing and like looking at like exper people's experience of it, I looked at loads of YouTube videos and I found them really helpful. So I'm going to try and make a helpful video for anyone considering a vertical vibrette. So, um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get pierced today, uh, in the afternoon, and it's still morning, so not yet. <laughs> um, and then I might get, I'm going with my friend Chloe, I might get her, f her to film me p getting it pierced, um, and then I'll, like, add it into this video. And then when I get home, I will film another video, just talking about it, like, um, pain-wise, and, like, the suggested aftercare for it and uh other junk just anything really that goes to do with the piercing I don't know uh yeah so I hope that's helpful for anybody just like message me or something or like comment there we go that's the thing just like comment on the video if it's helpful or like if you want to know anything else if you want any other questions um so yeah I might, if, if it's helpful for people, I might do, like, um, updates on, like, the healing process throughout, like, the is it six to eight weeks, I guess. That's the general thing, isn't it? I don't know. How long it has to, like, heal or whatever. And I hope it's helpful. So, see you, like, in two seconds when I have my lip pierced. Hi. Um... The thing on my face. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about the pain first of all. Oh wait, no, wait. First of all, we're gonna talk about what happened. So, on my face. Uh, we, me and my friend, we w were both going to get it, and we were gonna go to Blue Lotus piercing. I've heard great things about it, like recommends from people, um, recommended by people, and um, like on the website the. I've like looked up the website, I've like done my research on them basically. I've watched YouTube videos of the piercer Nikki doing piercings and she looks amazing at it. She's had like so much experience, like ten plus years of experience. Um and she looks really amazing at doing her job. Um like everything she does looks right and everything. Uh she looks really quick when she's doing the piercings. But uh yeah, so we went in. It's trainee Tuesday. So um she was training the guy to do piercings and they weren't doing lip piercings today lip lip piercings today is only like tragus smiley that kind of thing uh so i didn't go there we went to um what's it called uh pure ink pure ink the like i think it's a tattoo studio sounds like it should be pure ink but um yeah they do piercings as well we like <laughs> we went in and my friend Chloe just like she asked the woman, she was like, Do you do first call of rat piercings here? And the woman was like, Yeah. So Chloe <laughs> Chloe goes, Oh, we'll have two then. <laughs> we'll have two each then, please, or whatever, like one each but please, something like that. It was it was funny when it was had to be that moment. Oh, I've just ruined this whole video now. Okay, sorry, anyway. So we went there and the woman was amazing. It was brilliant. I'm so happy. Like she explained to us about like the piercing, like she said, you know, because straight through your lip, and we're like, yep, you know. Um, she, it was twenty pounds, and that includes in two weeks she's going to change the bar to a smaller one for us. Um, yeah, and she was so nice and friendly. She wasn't like intimidating or anything like that. You know, sometimes you go into a shop to be pierced, and the person's like quite intimidating. Uh, she wasn't. She was lovely. Um, she kept asking, like, are you okay? You feel okay? You don't feel dizzy? Anything like that? Don't feel faint? And, um, like, checked the dots. Uh, I think it looks straight. Let me check. I think that one's pretty straight. 
it's kind of sticking out a bit, but um, I don't want to try and push it down because Chloe did that on the train. Uh, I tried to push it, she was like, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I ate a piece of pizza. Cause I ate a piece of pizza. I was eating a piece of pizza before and we went in and I still had a bit left and I was like, how do I do this? So I just ripped it into tiny pieces and went, tried to eat it. That hurt a bit actually. But yeah, the oh, the pain was like, it was minimal. It was definitely minimal. Uh, she did it so fast. It was brilliant. Um, I, I, I still think that my belly piercing is the most painful piercing I've ever had. So, you know, <laughs> if you've got a belly piercing, you can, you can handle it. It's just like, it's kind of, the clamps didn't hurt either. Like, they weren't like, oh, uh, like they were on my belly as well. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was brilliant. It didn't, I don't know, I'm really happy with it. It doesn't hurt now either. Like, I don't want to be pushing it around or anything. Cause I'm trying not to lick it as well, but I've got dry lips, so I'm like, uh, trying not to lick it or anything. But, uh, yeah, the pain was definitely, like, obviously when she did it, I was like, <gasps> um, because <laughs> it was like being stabbed in the face. Um, so yeah, it still hurt, but um, it's definitely worth it. I can't feel anything now, and I've, I literally had it done, like, literally an hour ago. So, yeah, so that's pretty good. And... I love it. I think it's really pretty. But yeah, okay, aftercare. Uh, I'll just uh, sea salt or rock salt, she said, in a little, like, um, egg cup. And just, like, dip your lip in it and swizzle around. Because uh, you don't, like... I suppose... Uh, I don't know. I think that when I'm cleaning it, if I do notice some, like, crusty bits or anything, I will probably get, like, a Q-tip thingy. Q-tip earbud, whatever you call it. Um probably will just use it to wipe away any bits but yeah uh, I don't want to be like moving it around or anything like that because it's still a fresh piercing you don't want to be like uh, transferring germs and stuff so my arm's getting tired <laughs> um, uh, uh, what else can I talk about pain, aftercare Healing, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember anything now, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it was definitely worth it. Definitely worth it, definitely worth it. But, um, you know, go go to a place that you you know. Like, Chloe knew this place, so... Like, even though I felt a bit iffy, but I made her go first. Like, because I hadn't done the research on the place, so I didn't know any of the places, I didn't know their experience and stuff like this. So I made Chloe go first. <laughs> and then it was like, fine, so I was like, okay, fine, do me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, definitely, definitely make sure that you research uh, who your piercer is and like where you're gonna go for it and where's the best place to go and blah 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 stuff like that. So yeah, there's a thing in my face. <laughs> Inside. Uh, I don't know if that. Uh. Let's go really close up. look straight to you. Yeah, <laughs> I really like it. So, yeah, uh, if this is a helpful video, um, I don't really know how it's helpful because I haven't really said anything helpful, I'm sorry. I'm like a bit, uh, but yeah, definitely it, it's not that painful. It like, if you get it done by the right person, then it's fine. Uh, comparing it to the piercings, like other than belly button, like it was more painful than this, obviously, because this just it's just meh. It's like a little flick in the nose, <laughs> kind of. Uh, it was it was it was a bit more painful than my septum piercing because like that's up my nose in a minute, but um, it was more painful than that because like obviously because it's like a thicker piece of skin here like you said to me like a tiny bit of skin it's like this is a thicker bit of skin so it has more than that but uh yeah it was like um straight as she was doing it it hurt like obviously it's like a stingy 
piercing pain. <laughs> and then, um, and she had the thing in it, like just the little hollow thing while she was getting the jewellery. And that was fine then. I was like, uh, I've got a thing in me. Um, and then when she was putting the jewellery in, that was horrible because the, the metal's cold and it's like, uh, I hate that. Bleh, I hate that feeling. It's the worst. Bleh. But it's over now. So. And I didn't. Usually, like, um, like it's my septum, when she was screwing on the ball, I could feel that and I didn't like that. But this, I didn't even notice that she was doing it. Uh, um, I've got loads of, like, bottled drinks and I don't know how to drink them now. I haven't tried. <laughs> uh, I think it should be fine, though, because I can. I don't know. That's the only thing I'm worried about now. I ate some pizza. Um, so it's kind of like, eh, it hurt a little bit. Because that was like literally like 10 minutes after I'd had it pierced. I was like eating a bit of pizza. <laughs> but that was, it wasn't too bad, I suppose. Oh yeah, uh, when I was on the metro on the way home, like 20 minutes after I had it pierced, it was like throbbing. Like a kind of warm throbbing type thing. But that's gone now. Uh... I didn't bleed. I didn't bleed at all. Um, yeah, I think that's it really. It's really great so far. I've, <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. My mum's gonna hate me forever. I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. Oh, I can still see the blue mark, right? Can you see it? It's actually green. It was a green pen. Uh, yeah, I really like it. So I think that if you want it, you should just go for it, to be honest. Because you can always take it out. Um, my friend, my close friend, I went with him to have this done. Um, like his few few months ago now, well, <laughs> probably a year ago now, I don't know, I can't remember, but um, he took his out, like, I don't think he ever keeps piercings in, I've been with him to get so many piercings, and like, I don't think he has any of them, and he's always just like, oh, can I get my lip pierced, and then the next time you see him, you're like, oh, did you get your lip pierced, and he's like, oh yeah, I took it out, in like a week <laughs> or something, he's really bad at that, so, uh, yeah, that's all really. It's probably a really long stupid video now because I've just kind of repeated myself. I should have written down what I was going to say. But yeah. I hope you like this thing in my face. And I hope you consider... No wait. If you're considering getting this thing in your face, I hope you have the courage to do it because so far it's awesome. Uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> I hope this is helpful. <laughs> See you later, or not.